All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Let's keep moving. I know there were more Einherjada around the corner. I'm sure you can tell my voice sounds better. I, sa I feel better, much better. <laughs> Okay. Did it. Here, Kratos. All my former spouse taught me was that there's no limit to the depths to which a soul can sink into darkness. Tricked me into marriage to spare my home and took my home just the same. Scattered my people to the wind. Maybe it's time somebody drew the line. Maybe it's time someone makes Groa's prophecy come true. I will not wish for war, Freya. War is a terrible thing, Kratos. But some things are even worse. Very true. You know, if Atreus rushes to Ragnarok, you may not be able to stop him. I will. And if you fail? I have prepared him to survive without me, if he must. <laughs> <laughs> Watch for the plants. They Wait. like me, but strangers, not so much. I okay. see that. You yeah. won't be able to damage it without destroying the mother. It's a large, bulbous thing. You can't miss it. Understood. Hmm. Some over here? Oh, I got that already. What is this? Does, does she know about this? Can she help me? So no? what's next for you, if not preparing for war? I do not know. But I will take no chances with Atreus. Well, you may want to think fast, unless you want someone to make that choice for you. Yeah, that's also very true. Because people like Odin do tend to make that choice for a lot of people. Ready? As I ever will be. In regular myths and this game. <laughs> no. It really is you. 
You returned to us at last. Yes. Uh, let's celebrate. You reclaim the throne, we'll rebuild, me and you against the world. Huh? Just like the old days. I'm... not staying. I don't understand. You're here. Maybe together we can take back what's ours. I only just got back what's mine. I still have work to do. You've seen what's left of the realm, right? Do we really mean that little to you? You question my loyalty? Vanaheim turned its back on me. Oh, you still can't let go of that old fight. It was my duty to save as many of our people as possible. My responsibility. One you didn't take seriously then, and from the looks of it, one you don't now. You think this is a game to me? Yeah. <sighs> we lost everything to that maniac you called husband. The man's family set me on fire. How did you expect me to react? Like my brother. Like the boy that used to have my back no matter what. And who I always supported no matter how selfish his choices. I expected you to come and find me. That no matter how hurt or angry, you wouldn't abandon me. Freya, please. I thought you were dead. I've had to live lifetimes with those last awful words I said to you. Have any idea what that's like? Knowing that your own selfishness hurt the person that you cared about the most. Abandon you. Oh, Freya. I mourned you. Oh, I've missed you so much. But I won't bind myself to another realm when I finally have my freedom. I'll send help, though. And I will come back. I promise. This hasn't been your home for a long time, has it? What you gotta do. All right, all right, that's enough. Ain't y'all got nothing better to do than gawking at family sorting squabbles? Come on, you two. Not you. Got a few things to square with y'all. First is you collecting your spare heads. Second is that sigil magic I smell on your bow. Reckon that's an idea I'll steal. How's about I set you up with some sonic mojo? I'll <laughs> betray you. Very well. Third of all, if and you ain't staying here, bears mentioning that Sindri and I find ourselves running a flop house for unemployed guys. Unemployed. If you're done freezing your backside off in Midgard, maybe come back with Beardo there. Check up on your old pal Tyr. That's kind of you, Brock. I may do just that. Well, all right, then. I'll meet y'all back at the house. Okay. Unless you want me to fix anything up first. Uh, actually... Well, 
Care to meet our new allies? Or shall we depart? Hold on. Uh, excuse me, can you stop and help a lady out, please? There are keep a few you things. sharp and she'll keep you alive. Oh my. Strength and defense. Strength? Oh, wow. Stun wait, stun grabbing an enemy. R3. I can do that. I can just grab people. Upgrade that anymore. Damn! Am I good or what? Very good. All right. Oof! I'm actually running low on hack silver. You make up your mind. Increases. What does this do? All right. Whatever. And let's sell some. Wait. Oh, accessory. And Lady Freya? What are you looking for? That ought to last you a little while. Yep. <sighs> what is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the River Delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. It was so frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. <laughs> what? Irreplaceables? Well... Just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the strap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. The mysterious Oh, orb. and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge! Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. Um... Alright, let's try to figure it out. I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. <laughs> Either of you. You have my word. Sounds good. Freya's joining Kratos. Fredo's alliance. Uh, Fredo, dear lord, this isn't the God and Father. Uh, Freya's al alliance unlocks new combat equipment. Oh. Wait, she has a skill tree? Oh, okay. 
Well, shit. That's it for her ex This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Okay. Well, not right now. Let's... If, if she's gonna follow me. Is she gonna follow me? I get past this. Where is Wait, can I literally not or is it okay, let's try it. This might actually be able to get us past Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Su na. Oh. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. Kept on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim. Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? Yep. I can't exactly... Oh, yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. Alright, so how do I switch... Oh, okay. So it's true. Tears really alive? Yep. Why? Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Very troubling, but th there's more afoot. If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. Hmm. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. The hell is this? Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. Alright, well, our objective is leading us this way, we, and we can explore a little bit more later. Mm. 
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. Sounds good. Freya's missing piece. Yo, what was that? Uh, it seems like they're kind of both on the same path. Yeah, they're, they might actually be in the same area. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Is that one of those witches? How do I... Okay, well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to get up there right now, at least. Um, this way, then. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. It was beautiful once. How was that?
Life returns to the garden. Good. There we go. All is desolation. A fitting fate. Astra. No. We will talk to her in a second. <laughs> This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Interesting. Well, that did nothing. Sigil arrows won't work on this. Huh. Can't really get an angle on that. Not sure how to get it. I'm not sure what it does either. All right, Astrid. Where'd she go? Over here. Can't grow from the scorched soil. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The anger, my life's work, rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its cheap treasures. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? The earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. Okay. Well, I guess I was halfway done with it. When my garden blooms, we have to destroy the totem. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. I can't figure out how to get this open. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Is it possible for me to get up? No. Family crest of Henir. Poor man. Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Uh, there's a hole. <laughs> anything oh. 
garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. <laughs> We'll figure it out. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Is that all it's of it? Finished. The Let's land. return to Astrid. It's alive again. Yes. I can... Your garden grows again. Freya. How did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason to Oh! Oh, glad to see that still works. Yep, and it seems like they just got rid of the minigame. An arm of these bearing wound just brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, uh, perhaps. Right, off we go. Okay, there's gotta be a place nearby where we can just, cause I... Duck or something. Something makes me feel like we're going to be ambushed. But to what end? When the Ain Heriar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested. Say them later. I understand your desperation, but that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. I see. Say I don't even know who I'm looking for. So ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. <clears throat> oh, it's those... Okay. What sounded like witches when we were rowing. Oh, oh shit! Oh. 
like more of Lunda's old armor. We nearly have the complete set now. Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. Hmm. Another way around. Over here. Oh, hey. Ah, you found some of my armor. I'll fix it up for you real good. Okay. I sure appreciate you finding my orb, though, since I am doing this for free and whatnot. Family crest? I'll take them. Ooh. All right, we can upgrade it for, uh... Wait. Not enough resources. Oh, so I found the other two pieces then. A good fit. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. All right. We'll complete the set. God, I forget what, um... What the other, what the... What this calls for. Oh, guys, so one of them's down. Good. Okay, so that brought us down there. said look for another way around but like, what other way around I also can't find the orb <laughs> it's like I'm going in circles but I can't figure out where the progress goes said the ace here burned him yes we weren't yet at war but relations with the vanir and Aesir had been hostile for ages freyer got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them vanir techniques for bountiful harvests enough to feed their whole population getting set on fire was the th all right sorry to interrupt that Huh. That's true. The Aesir were too undisciplined and impatient for the subtlety of Vanir spellcraft. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freyr was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freyr up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. Obviously, he survived. In fact, he used the opportunity to escape. But such an affront made war inevitable. Freyr certainly wasn't the same after that. At least for a while. His carefree ways were replaced with nightmares, paranoia, and lashing out. I it doesn't excuse what he said at my wedding, but I do understand where his anger came from. <coughs> Wait, did I... 
Did I just go in a circle? This is so hard to comprehend. My friend's souls are still twisted, aren't they? So I'm facing the correct way, and it even says there's water, but there's no water there. I'm literally staring at a wall. There's the waterfall or a waterfall. <laughs> Nothing over here, just this. Waterfalls. We're close. There should be a gate up ahead. I see a rainbow. That's quite a gate. Don't suppose you know a way through. A pilgrim gate. I can open it. We just need to find the right vantage point. Okay. Information of the right vantage point doesn't help me. Uh, up there. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Grimthor whispered to you? Who? Grimthor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husbandly habits. What wager? I've told this story, brother. And now she may tell her own. And we'll just stop there for now. <laughs> okay, so back around here. And it looked like it was up. Wait a minute. Is that there for a reason? I didn't see a place to dock back there. Despite his actions at Midgard, Atreus does still care for you. I know. I raised a son, too. It may be hard to believe, but he was quite similar to Atreus at this age. He adored his father, always wanted to do right by him, and was constantly frustrated that no matter what he did, he never could seem to get his approval. He confided in me a lot, sought the comfort his father withheld. I wonder if your son could benefit from that too. He has befriended the other dwarf, the Blue One's brother. Oh, well, if Sindri has that covered, I suppose there's no need for me in his life anymore, is there? That is not what I meant. That was sarcasm. <laughs> Now, if we could get back to the story of Hrimthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. 
I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Or so I learned one day when Odin burst into our bedchambers, raging and half drunk before noon, telling me to get dressed and go see what the mason wants. <laughs> so off I went, not knowing what had truly been promised or expected. Dagger stashed in my robe for emergency. And this mason, this giant in disguise. His name was Hrimthur. He just smiled to see me. And as you said, he whispered in my ear. He said the Aesir had killed his father, and he needed to know that one day they'd burn for it. I pointed out I was Aesir now too, technically. He gave me a look, as if he somehow knew better and continued. He said he'd built in a structural flaw behind the Asgard Realm Tower. I knew it! How do we make use of it? We don't. He said Surtur would know what to do. And if Surtur's approaching Asgard's wall... Then it is already Ragnarok. Ah, blast it. I hoped it might have given us another way. Nah. It... As we have gone over, Ragnarok is going to happen. And it's it, like we're not gonna stop it. Alright, maybe that worked. <clears throat> Damn it. Seriously, I'm trying so hard. Now, 
how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here. Right? Yeah, I know, Freya. Oh, Jesus Christ. Damn it. Please. Please end their suffering. What do you think I'm trying to figure out? <laughs> I got up there. There's no way for me to. <laughs> yeah, I can't. It's too far. It's too far away. Still can't reach that. There we like go. That work. As long as they still haunt this realm, so will I. So, okay, a little bit of what's progress. What's it like being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mekin. Okay. We should be able to reach the wedding scene. Didn't see that there.
I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. Okay, Freya. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. <sighs> the closer we get, the more tightness grows in my chest. You're sure you want to continue? Confronting the past comes with a price. It must be done. I've lived with this pain far too long. If you can believe it. We were happy once. For a time, foolishly believed the peace would last. Perhaps that was my mistake. All I wanted was to protect my family. There is no shame in that. I failed all the same. Those scrawlings must be Sather nearby. Huh. The hell is this? Oh. Oh. Wait, maybe can, can I break the, uh... No, I cannot. Lunda's ore. Be cautious. We know not what it does. You really think she'd send us to get the bloody thing if it was going to kill us? Let's just take it back to her. More Sather markings. Goonhild's companions can't be that far ahead. Look what they've done to this place. Lunda's armor taken care of, as well as her odd little sphere. Oh. If we return them to her. Where is that raven? What's it say, brother? Seder sacrifice. Over there. Those are the lost Seder spirits. Friends of Gunhild. They don't look very friendly anymore, do they? Let us put them to rest. Well, they're dead. Are you done? For now. Find you! Incoming! Oh. 
Oh no! Can we not do that? The family crest of Cavassier the Wise. More like Cavassier the Inebriated, in truth. Must we with the plants? It's explosive. Be careful. Let's, uh, Spartan Rage. That's the last of them. Damn it. I knew these souls. I would have thought them smarter than to meddle with Sather magic. They were desperate. And now they are dead. Good riddance. You blame yourself. And? It will not lessen your pain. Let's return to Gungir. Unless you'd like to condescend more? Do not. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. Is it done? He said no, Are like it was possible. It is done. Your friends are at peace. Good. And I'm sorry. Had I been here, I would have prevented this. Do you think us lost babes, incapable of making our own choices? No, but... We made a mistake, but it was ours to make. Not yours to prevent. Even if you had been here. I... Yes, you're right. Goodbye, Gunhil. Goodbye, my goddess. Kratos, thank you for taking the time to help my people. I help no one. They were already dead. Oh, but you did. You put their spirits at ease, and that has pleased my spirit as well. I feel lifted. Enjoy it. It will not last. You're right. There are most certainly other corrupted sisters out in the realms. You always know how to end on a cheery note, brother. He's such a fucking buzzkill, Lunda. Right. Business time. Uh. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you so much. Elsa's been itching to get her ball back all dang winter. Lord. It's her favorite toy. What? <laughs> Good thing you were so cautious, brother. Quiet. He's right, Mimir. Show respect. The squeaky toy could have been the death of us all. And it nearly was. Do not laugh. That's hard not to, brother. Try. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's great. He's like, I'm trying not to. And then just turns uh, to be quiet. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, thank you so very much for watching. When we return, we're going to probably help Freya out with her uh, missing piece or whatever it is. And then return home. Uh, but until then, I thank you so very much for watching. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe, Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time.